Chevy gives us the most track focused but still road legal Corvette Z06 yet. And that VW Golf R400 looks to be getting the green light. And Mercedes is like, just, just make it, just, just make it, just make the GLC. Plus, VW's boss. Boss. Ferdinand Peak says, I'm out of here. But not really in those words. Plus, it's Monday, so commenter of the week is going down. What's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D. I hope you had a great weekend. Right. <laughs> and you're watching Fast Lane Daily. That's right. <laughs>we get started, let me just say that Fastlane Daily surpassed 200 million views on Friday. Yep. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty that's awesome. Great. And at the time of shooting this episode right now, it's at 200,127,492 to be exact. Not bad at all. That means we got over 127,000 views just this weekend. Wow. Yeah. So uh, thank you everyone who has contributed to those 200 million views. We do very much appreciate it. So, yeah, 200 mil. I added a whole million. You think so? Yep. Well, <laughs> all right. VW Bows. Bows. That's a twofer right there. Yeah. Ferdinand Piech isn't that anymore. No one really saw it coming, but the Volkswagen chairman has resigned. And the only statement from the VW group board was that, quote, mutual trust has been lost. End quote. Hmm. Not really sure what that exactly means, but we can guess the former chairman's attempt to undermine VW CEO Martin Winterkorn was, uh, was a bad move. Ferdinand was responsible for some pretty major stuff at VW, including large acquisitions and big projects like the Phaeton and the XL1. It'll be a tough act to follow, but in related news, he now can pursue what he really loves, yelling at the neighborhood kids for being on his lawn. I don't know, he just kind of looks like that. He's got this picture with his hand up and that stern glare, like, if that kid steps a foot near my lawn, I, God help me. Yeah. Yeah. It's my frisbee now. It's my frisbee now, yeah. <laughs> Such a stern look. If you're yeah, like, yeah. I don't want that guy yelling at me. I ain't touching his lawn. You know that Mercedes GLC concept that was introduced at the Shanghai Motor Show just last week? Mm. Well, guess what? What? <laughs> it's already been approved for production. Pretty quick turnaround. Wow. Yeah, the miniature GLE Cross Coupe will borrow engines from the C-Class, an AMG version, and an AMG version could be in the works using a 4-liter twin-turbo V8, good for 472 horsepower, 479 pound-feet of... Torque. Oh, nice. Thanks, Erica. Gotta love those crossovers to the market. You know, gotta get them, gotta get them out there as fast as possible these days. People love them. It's like, got two crossovers coming up. It's like you're at a store. Yeah. I'll take two crossovers, uh, but throw a hatchback. <laughs> Remember the awesomely powerful Golf R400 concept? Of course you guys do. Yeah. I mean, here I am standing right next to it talking about it. Yeah. Well, there are rumors it may be produced, but now you can call it black and white stripes because it's official. It will be built and it will closely mirror the concept in looks and performance. The concept used a two liter turbocharged four cylinder make 40, to make 400 horsepower. But the production version may actually make more power. Yeah, around 415 horses and 331 pound-feet of that what? Torque. Yeah. All-wheel drive will be standard, and transmission options will include a DSG automatic and six-speed manual. Bada-bing. Zero goes fishing for 60s in 3.9 seconds. It'll probably debut at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September and could cost about 50000 bucks when it goes on sale in 2016. So... This thing will be more than just a hot hatch. Maybe you have to call it a scorching hatch, a burning hatch, a uh, scalding hatch. Okay. Because it needs to be more than just hot. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, AK? Okay? Molten lava hatch. Molten lava hatch. Nice. The new Corvette Z06 is an absolute monster. We knew that. With 650 horsepower and equally 650 pound-feet of torque. That's right. Add in the Z07 performance package and some aerodynamic stuff, and that'll help handle all that power. Well, Chevy wanted to offer more. So here's the Z06 Z7, sorry, Z06 C7R, Ugh. 
With inspiration from the C7R race car, both coupe and convertible streetcar models will come with the Z07 package upgrades plus Brembo carbon ceramic brake upgrade, Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, and special graphics. The graphics are key. Yeah. They add a little bit of aerodynamics to it. Okay. You know, the, the more fast the graphic looks, the faster the car goes. It's science. There will also be extra carbon fiber trim pieces inside and out, and microfiber steering wheel, seat inserts, and shifter. It will go on sale later this year for insert a dollar amount more than the Z06 here. Because who knows? We don't know yet. No. That's what I'm saying. But what we do know, what we do know is what time it is. And that is... Commenter of the Week time. Yeah, because we know it. Yeah. Commenter of the Week. Comment our show. Yeah, Commenter of the Week. Comments. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, this comment comes from FLD fan. Dream Forecast. Dream Forecast. And he just rattles off a bunch of questions about the show. So he said, uh, hashtag Fast Lane Daily. Hey, Derek, I have a few questions. One, whatever happened to that other yellow toy car over there? I remember you guys used to have two. Two, will you guys be bringing FLD Knights back? Three, when will you have Bob Schubert Jr. host the show? Four, when can we see another Bob's music video? You know, like the Good Deal song. Five, whatever happened to 25 Cent? Six, why don't you guys do a bit more for each segment? Like, for example, during cow, you could wear a cow hat or shirt. <laughs> and during Dow, he meant doing it wrong. You could do something quick, which you do wrong before the video. Last question is, the segments you guys have now, will you someday change them or add new ones? Well, as a fast fan, I, or should I say we, the fast fans, Thank you, FLD, for all these years, and we welcome many more. A big shout out to all the crew. Hashtag fast fans. Nice. That's interesting. I've never called the fans fast fans, but I guess that yeah. could work. Yeah. Fast fans. All right. Wow. It was a loaded comment, though. Very loaded. Okay. So let me, uh, let me get through these questions pretty fast. Uh, the, other, the other yellow Audi over here, it's in the body shop. It needs a new timing belt. Duh. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Mm. Two, is FLD Knights coming back? Well, right now, no, but you never know. But for right now, on the guest front, we are trying to figure out a way to incorporate guests directly into the Daily Show instead of having it separate. And I was thinking maybe that could work with FLD Question of the Day on Thursdays. Guest Shin of the Day. Nice. Not every Thursday, though, but, you know, peppered in some Thursdays. Uh, Bob Schumann Jr., will he do another music video? Hmm. I don't know. He's real picky. That guy. I I'll ask him if he feels like writing one, but his day rate is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, it's... He, it's like a lawyer. It's like over... We pay him way too much for what he does. He's also right. very hard to work with. He is kind of hard to work with sometimes. He's always on his, doing his own thing. But I will say he's very talented. He is a talented guy. 25 Cent, uh, for those who don't know, he was a whack-ass rapper character I did, and I <laughs> did a few FLD songs. Oh, that's a character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But 25 Cent has kind of retired. Okay. Um, but who knows? As for wearing a cow hat or shirt during commenter of the week, nah. Uh, doing something wrong during doing it wrong? Um, like what? Hard to do something wrong when our show feels so right. Know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, lastly, yes, we do change up segments here and there. Refer to my answer for your second question. Plus... Now that the weather is warmer, we'll go outside for some more things, man on the street stuff, press car segments like the Guess the Kia. Remember yeah, that? that Which great. I thought was a lot of fun. That was. Big time. Uh, so things like that. Once the weather gets nice, we do switch things up. So I hope that answers uh, all your questions uh, for you and the rest of the fast fans. Nice. I should say fast fans, hashtag. So we do appreciate it, and thank you. Um, there it is. Our FLD question of the day is, Will the departure of VW's Ferdinand Piech improve or hurt the company? Sales are a little down in the U.S., so maybe this will change that. Although he did do a lot of good for VW, so let us know what you guys think. Use hashtag FLD, Q of the D, 
And you can send your own in too. Tips at FastLaneDeli.com. Yeah, just, I mean, you can do it. Just yeah, yeah. send it in, you know, get on a computer, type away, move the mouse a little bit, sure. hit send, <laughs> email. Yeah. Yeah. Simple. Yep. And that is going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I hope you have an awesome Monday. I'm Derek D. Hey, big shout out to FLD fan Will, who came up to me at Johnny Max in Asbury Park on Saturday night. Said he was a big fan. So uh, thanks, dude. And I told you I would shout you out. Here it is. Also, FLD fan David Pedraza. He reached out to David us. David Pedraza the third. Oh, Pedraza the third. That's right. He reached out to us. Uh, his Brennan High School choir performed at Carnegie Hall in New York City. His first trip to New York City. So congrats on that, man. And uh, we appreciate you watching the show, right? Here's to uh, 200 million more, Erica. Yay! Yay! Bye! By the way, are you wearing an undershirt? That is your undershirt. <laughs> it's a t-shirt. I'm wearing an undershirt. Do you put on a pre-shirt pre-shirt t-shirt? <laughs> yeah, That's oh. my question. Hey, uh, Max, quick story about what happened to you this morning? Oh, yeah. I, was, uh, I left my house, and I was walking to the Jitney. And I was like, why am I so comfortable? And I look down, and I'm wearing my slippers. Put your foot up on the table there. <laughs>